Hi everybody, Helen here. Today I come to you guys with another unboxing and this time it is the April Farlute which she actually sent out a little bit later than usual which is why I have it now. Um, but for you guys who don't know, Farlute is a YA subscription box uh, that you can get each month. They choose a newly released YA book and around that book they make a theme and then you get 46 bookish goodies that are related to that theme. So I'm really curious to what is inside so you know, let's check it out. Ah! This is what it looks like and the card just flew right out. You're not allowed to bite on the... No, you know what? So here we have the card and the theme for this month is Whimsical Journeys. I will not be reading on this card because spoilers. But yeah, let's get to this. And the first thing I'm really intrigued by actually. And uh, that is, it's a, you know, coffee mug. And it actually has the Farlute logo in the script here. And, you know, you can drink tea or coffee, whatever you want. It's plastic. It is inspired by Narnia. And it's actually looking pretty darn cool. I'm really glad we get something like this in the box because I've never gotten anything like this before. So this is designed by Inca Wanda. I thought I recognized the um, style. So yeah, it's Inca Wanda. And it features the map of Narnia by C.S. Lewis and it's great for warm drinks when you're on the go. We have this little box which I'm going to guess is a candle. Uh, it does say Flick the Wick Candle Company, so I guess I'm alright. I'm going to open it. Why do you have to go in the box? Looney, you're going to fall down. Ah. So in here we have... Oh. The candle, it's called Leif's Ship and it's spruce fir, fir sandalwood and it's a soy candle. I'm sorry, I have still a cold which is why my voice sounds so weird but it, I can still smell this one, I can. It smells pretty darn good. Um, I don't know who Leif's Ship is. What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, so this candle is... Feature around the book of the month, which we'll get to later. So, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> um, guess we'll find out more about it later, but this is what it looks like. And it's sort of... I did not just drop that. But it's sort of greyish black. And it does sound, smell pretty darn good. Um, although it's sandalwood, so I'm not sure I will actually be able to burn this one because I will probably get an allergic reaction again so you know one of my friends would probably get this one. Ooh, we have an enamel pin. I love this. I have my backpack full with these. So this is a Percy Jackson one. Yes it is. And this is Black Jack which is the uh, Pegasus that Percy Jackson names Black Jack. And it's really pretty. It's black and gold. Definitely putting this on my bag. And this is a Fairloop exclusive. So this is designed by Taracha. So yeah, it's really beautiful. Ooh, a notepad. Uh, I love notepads. You can never have too many. Uh, but on this one it says, let's carpet the hell out of this DM. <laughs> and I love that. We're going to figure out who made it. So this is designed by Little Inkling Designs. And it's a quote from The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. So I love that series. Um, at least the first book, so that's really awesome. We have, I think it's a luggage tag. Yes, it is. I'm going to open it. So we have a luggage tag that is inspired by um, Fantastic Beasts where to find them. So you're supposed to put this little thingy in through here. And on this one it says, this suitcase... This suitcase contains magical beasts, and this is a Farlit exclusive, and it looks awesome. And they call it Magical Beast Luggage Tag. And this is created by Lovely Owls Books. I have a tote bag. I love tote bags. Tote bags are the best. So this tote bag is designed by Stella Bookish Arts, and it says, "I'm going on an adventure." And this is a quote from G.R.R. Tolkien. You know. The guy that writes Lord of the Rings, which I do love. I love the movies, and I've already read the books once, but 
like to read them, but this is gorgeous actually. Have an art print and it's different arrows to different magical places. So we have Hogwarts, Hobbiton, Caraval, Camp Half Blood, Red London, Idris, Narnia, Valaris, Keradam, and Cape's Water. It has a lot of awesome places I'd like to go actually. So that's really pretty. Could you stop poking on my foot? Looney. This art print is called exclusive. This art print is exclusive and it's called Fictional Places and it's brought to us by Fiction Tea Designs. Here we have a pen for A7 Shades by Amanda Foody, um, which has some you know info about the fates divide by Veronica Roth. And it says he died for her, she'd kill for him. Sequel to Carve the Murk. So apparently book two is about to come out. Okay, so the book is huge, but the book is Beyond the Dark and Shore by Jessica Leith. The ancient land of Erin is murder and war. Kiara, Princess of Maid, can barely remember a time when Northmen weren't plundering the shores of her divided homeland. With her intimidating ability to control her enemies' minds and actions, Kiara has managed to keep her people safe. But lately a mysterious crown has been appearing to Kiara. But lately a mysterious crow has been appearing to Kiara, whispering warnings of an even darker threat. Although her clans might dismiss her wishes as superstition, Kiara fears this coming evil will destroy her, not just Erin, but the entire world. It isn't until Kiara captures Leaf, 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 that's a Leaf, <laughs> it's a weird name, uh, a young North Melida during his failed siege of Maid, that she discovers that she's not the only one who has these prophet prophetic um, visions. Leaf is Kiara's enemy, but together they may be the only ones who can save the world. Uh, and uh, as battle grows closer, the alliance born out of necessity do starts to become something more. With evil rising around them, they must do what it takes to defend the land they love, even if it makes making the great sa greatest sacrifice of all. So it sounds really cool, it's really intriguing. Um, I have seen the cover around, but I haven't actually figured out what the book was about until now. Uh, but it does sound intriguing, I love the cover. And it's really, really thick. So the book looks really huge, but it's only 421 pages only. So this book is actually supposed to be a standalone, which is really interesting because I feel like there's not a lot of standalone in fantasy anymore, so that's awesome. And it's filled with Celtic and Norse mythology, which I freaking love. I love mythology in general, so I feel like this would be the perfect book for me. So hopefully I will like it. Um, but we're going to figure out what is in this little bag. So I think we have... Oh, I guess this is our the main characters, Kiara and Leaf. Um, uh, but on the back is actually the uh, letter from the author, which I will read later. Then we have the book plate, which I will put in my book right now. Look at that. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? So we have some more things in here, I believe. So we have the bookmark, which correlates to the card we got earlier. I love that we get these bookmarks because, you know, bookmarks is always good to have. And then we have the, no, we have another thing in here. So we have a sticker, I believe, where it says Beyond the Dark and Sure. So we have sort of the cover on this as well, but this is a sticker. And then we have the little fire loot card, which you get a hashtag on that you can use for Instagram and Twitter and such like that. And then you can find your reading buddy and, you know, you can read the book together and discuss it and stuff like that. And last but not least, I believe we do have... Uh, this one, which is the ferret scoop, and we're going to figure out what's in here. So we have the interview with the author. We have some, um, <clears throat> we have some ideas for what to read next. And on the back, we have next month's theme, which will be Save the Kingdom. And May will actually be my last ferret loot box. I've decided to try something else. So this will be interesting to see if I will love the last box. Um, but May's box will be uh, inspired by stories that involve saving the kingdom. And you'll find stunning items inspired by Anne Amber in the Ashes, which I do need to read. The Winners Trilogy, which I need to finish. <laughs> the Remnant Chronicles, which I need to continue. And the Throne of Glass, which I need to continue. I feel like I'm really updated with the series, but okay. Um, but the book is supposed to be a fantastic new release where the main character is a traitor with secret magic powers and has to save the kingdom. It's a perfect blend for magic, romance and epic fantasy. We can't wait for you to read it. It will also come with the same bookplate late from the author and other goodies. 
and the copy will be featuring a Farad exclusive uh, and it will have sprite edges but yeah those were all the items in this box I actually feel like this was my favorite Farad box ever because it was actually a lot of things I feel like I will actually use which I feel like is ha not happening a lot lately um, so I think this was my favorite Farad box which is sad since I'm quitting it but you know and I'm also really really interested in the book and it's gorgeous so I mean I think it was a win-win. But if you're interested in getting your own box, I will link Farad's page down below. So you can go check it out if you want your own one. If you like this video, please don't forget to give yourself a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button down below. And yeah, I hope we see each other next time. I've got like this muscle cramp in my eye. <laughs> That's awesome.